what's the relationship between a baseball player and a physicist? And I said to myself, well, that's, that's a dumb question. I mean, there is no relationship between a physicist and a baseball player. And the answer to the pamphlet was no, they both get paid to do what they love. Mm. And I said to myself, you mean I can get paid to be a scientist? I can get paid to be a physicist? People are going to pay me to be a <laughs> physicist? To understand the universe and the laws of nature and to participate in the great march towards science? Yes, you can get paid to do that. And I said to myself, what a great idea. And then I realized that physicists have an advantage over baseball players. Because baseball players have a very short lifespan. Because mm. you're, only, you're only 25 <laughs> for so many years before the aches and pains start to build up. You're no longer competitive. For now. Yeah, you're no longer competitive. Of all the other 25 year olds that are coming up the ranks, right? Well, physicists, I mean, Einstein was creating great ideas in his 60s. We're still studying some of the stuff that he did late in life, right? So I said to myself, wait, that's a good deal. You get paid to do what you love.